Welcome to the One Choice for Your Store update, Google Product Search. Google Product Search helps shoppers find and buy products across the web. Now for you as a seller, Product Search connects your products to the shoppers searching for them and will help drive traffic and sales to your site. The best part is, inclusion of your products is completely free. There's no charge for uploading your items or the additional traffic that you will receive. Plus, you reach qualified shoppers. Now, the Yahoo store will automatically feed all of your products into Google product search. However, many Yahoo store owners have noticed something has drastically changed. <coughs> Their products are no longer being found in Google product search. That's because a new field is being required in the database file that's being uploaded from the Yahoo store. Now don't worry, this is super easy to set up and once you do, you will be back in Google product search in no time flat. All right, so now we're in the back end of our Yahoo store. We're gonna go over to the far left side of our screen and we're going to click on Catalog Manager. Next, we're going to click on Manage Your Tables and first we're gonna click on the default table. You might have a bunch of tables here and you're gonna to have to do it for each and every single table, but we'll start with the default table. Scroll down to Shopping Fields and click on the Edit button. So while we're in this area, one of the things I'm gonna point out is your product URL. When you go into the back end of your store, make sure that you do have those out, filled out. Very important for Yahoo Shopping. So first we're gonna to go to Select Field and we're gonna choose Classification. Then click on the Add Field button. Go back to Select Field and this time select Condition. Click on the Add Field button again. Now what you'll want to do is click on the Select Field button again and go ahead and add any of these different properties that you feel are going to provide more information about your products. UPC, manufacturer, brand, any of those fields that you can put in more information about your products will definitely help you when you're putting your products into the different shopping search comparison engines. Now we want to make sure that these two new variables are on every single page in our site. So we're going to go ahead and click required and we're going to go ahead and put the default value as new. Now basically what it is is classification is being used for Yahoo shopping and condition is being used for Google product search. And condition is that new variable that has been missing and why your products are not being found. Go ahead and click on update, go ahead and click on save, and this will take you right back to your tables. Go ahead and update any other tables that you have within your store, and once you're done, go ahead and click on store manager. At this point, I like to go into my store editor, click on any one of my products, click on the edit button, and I like to scroll down to the absolute very bottom and make sure that those fields that I have just added to my Yahoo store are there and that the brand new fields are there but also filled out with new. Click on update. Now also I wanna make sure that every page within my store gets republished so that way a brand new data feed is created. So I click on variables, let the page upload, and then click update and then republish my entire store. Now there's one other thing that we have to make sure that you have filled out so that way everything is in place for your feeds to be sent over to Google product search. So let's go into your store manager and this time we're going to click on the link search engines underneath the area of promote. And where you have sitemap.xml, make sure that is chosen to enabled and also under enable the different product catalogs for shopping engines, make sure those two are set to enabled as well. When you made those corrections, click on done and then click on publish order settings and click on the publish button. Once you've followed all of these steps, you should be right back into Google product search within no time. Now, if you'd like more information, just go to Google and click on shopping, and then you'll be able to see a link for information for sellers. Here you'll find lots of wonderful information about Google product search. I hope you found this tutorial very helpful, and please visit onechoiceforyourstore.com for more awesome Yahoo Store tutorials.